Buddy Death Stalker here. So I thought I'd share a little story with you about one of the worst things you can possibly do at a racetrack other than crashing or blowing up your bike. Now you're thinking, hmm, what can that be? Well, it's pretty simple. It's called running out of gas. And you're thinking, well, you just fill it up and away you go. Well, that's not really how it works in the racetrack. In racing, weight equals less horsepower. So what you do is you run with enough fuel in your tank so that at the finish of the race, you have barely enough to get back to the, uh, the pits. Now, everyone also adds a little bit extra in case there's you know, you're running a little bit faster than normally, so you're using more fuel, but, you know, I can only think of once or twice ever that I went out with a, a full tank of fuel. Most of the time, it's just a, a portion of fuel. And what happens with two strokes is because you have to mix the oil and the gas together, there's a special mixing can uh, we use. I'll see if I can find a picture of it here, and I'll put it up there. And what it does is you put the oil in one side and the gasoline in the other to the correct level for whatever the mix it is, like 20 to 1, 30 to 1, 10 to 1, whatever it is. And the oil connection has a has a opening that will let gas in it, and then you just swish it around and you mix your, your, your gas is all mixed, and away you go. And what happens when you finish your practice session or your race, you uh, drain your fuel tank back into that container to see how much fuel you use. And then what you do is you uh, write it down and keep track of it. You know, on this particular day, you're using this much fuel per practice session for heat race or for the race so that you know approximately how much you should be putting into the tank you know for the next race or the next practice session and that pretty well works pretty well uh, never run out of fuel doing that but what happened was I was there for a uh, practice session for a Friday, which is like an open practice. So essentially you just go out and ride as much as you want. You come in, they, they generally throw the flag about every half an hour to get people off so other people can get back on and whatnot. And, and what happened was I went out and this was with my, my factory engine that I got from Honda. And my factory engine, I knew it was gonna use a little more fuel because it made more horsepower which is, you know, sensible, and it's expected. So I actually went out with a little extra gas, or premix. And uh, it wasn't too bad. But on the second session, like once I got use of the bike and it was really running really well, we were ro rolling along, riding like normal. And, uh, just about getting on the, the back straightaway of the track, which is actually the back side of the track, the bike all of a sudden just makes, starts to stutter and bog, and it's like, uh-oh, and I immediately pull off the racing line because I'm thinking, oh, something's, uh, I'm, something must have broke. And I pull off at the back of the track, and nothing. Like, I try to start the bike, and it sort of burbles and stalls variables and stars and stalls and it's like you have to push these things to start them so it's like uh, not something you want to do uh, I should remind let everybody know that uh, at that particular day it was it was around uh, 37 degrees Celsius which is like in Fahrenheit is like pushing 90 and it's like stinking hot and you're in full leathers and not like the nice dented leathers like everyone rides nowadays these are old-fashioned you know well I'm not they're not quarter inch thick but they're compared to what my Alpine Star jacket is right now like uh, my full Alpine Star suit weighed, weighed more than or weighs less than like just half of my leathers my race leathers did so the last thing you want to do is be pushing your bike a lot in the 
sort of hot weather. And after a lot of try, try, trying to get it starting, it, it wasn't going. So the helmet came off, I was checking the bike out, seeing what was going on. And just for the heck of it, I popped the uh, top off the fuel tank and just sort of like swashed it around and there was nothing. It was the big E, it was empty. Well, nowadays you, you watch the MotoGP guys and you know, they break the bike, the bike breaks down, they just, you know, lean it against the fence and someone comes by and collects it up. Well, in a local club race, you're pushing. You know, if you're lucky you got a friend or someone who might come out and help you, but essentially you're pushing. And my bike decided it was going to run out of fuel at the very back of the track. And that's a four kilometer track. So I was looking at a two kilometer push. And that was just trying to use the return roads and whatnot. And it's not like you can cut a corner because uh, like these are road race bikes. So they, they like pavement. If you try to go off into the gravel and dirt with the bumps and stuff like that, they, they don't push well. So I ended up having to push this motorcycle. You know, while other guys were out there riding and it took about almost 40 minutes to get back to the, back to the paddock in this super hot temperature. I was just dying and of course you don't like to admit to everybody that you ran out of fuel but I didn't realize at the time that they're gonna really make fun of you and I just said not nah, ran out of fuel thinking it wasn't a big deal well for about the next four races I kept getting you know you make sure you got gas in that thing and so that's where I quickly learned like the worst thing you can do other than crashing and uh, blowing up your bike is running out of gas so if you're on the racetrack, always make certain you got a little extra. Anyways, Death Stalker, signing off. As I go to get gas for this thing. <laughs>